I broke a tap right there. So I have uh, this part I've been working on. Uh, I'm not showing you very much of it. I'll show that to you next week. That has some M1.4 holes in it that are, t well, tapped M1.4. And they're in stainless steel. I didn't have very many of them. I was trying to get six of them ready to send to uh, Germany and New York for some shows. And I broke a tap. And I was feeling really bad because I scrapped one of the parts after several hours of machining. I broke off the M1.4 tap, which you can see here. And I thought that I had scrapped the case as a, as a result of breaking off that tap. But I learned that it's possible to dissolve the tap out of the stainless steel without harming the stainless steel using alum. So that's what I'm going to try next. I've already put in quite a bit of alum and, uh, or alum. Alum? Alum. Alum. My wife said uh, alum. And it's uh, dissolving pretty nicely. So I'll put in just a little bit more, I think, and then I'll be ready to start. Okay, I think that's really well saturated. So what I did is I, I put a wire around the stainless steel and I'm gonna zoom in so you can have a look. And hopefully what you'll see, let's see if I can get it so you can see it pretty well. I may have to put it in there a little bit, but the, the tap is right there. And so what it's going to do is it's going to, going to start uh, bubbling where the tap is. If you look right down there, you can see a stream of bubbles coming up. And that stream of bubbles is the alum slowly dissolving the tap. It's been about uh, an hour and a half. And if you look down there, let's see right there, you can see that the bubbles are a lot more energetic than they were earlier, which is um, a sign that it's gotten uh, farther down into the hole and it's doing a really good job of dissolving the tap. It's a little hard to get the, the light just right, but if you look down here, uh, right below the tip, you can see there's a, a big stream of bubbles that are coming up from the hole that has the tap. And so that shows it's doing a really good job of dissolving the tap. It looks like there's another piece of the tap that's kind of floating toward the top, which is pretty amusing. I just happened to catch that. Anyway, it's doing a really good job of uh, dissolving the tap after about an hour and a half. And in another hour or so, it should be completely dissun done dissolving the tap. Here's another angle that I think is a, a little bit easier to uh, see. This is after about uh, two hours. I filmed this about a month ago, but wasn't able to show the video until now because the part is something that I had to keep secret until now. I forgot to film after I took it out of the bath and it was about three hours. After three hours, it completely dissolved the tap. The screws went in all the way and it worked perfectly. So that's definitely something I'm going to use again if I break more taps. Since then, of course, I switched to a different type of tap, which I showed in a previous video, and I haven't broken any tap since then. So, with any luck, I won't have to resort to this again, but it's a good uh, trick to have in my toolkit. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and I'll see you next time.